Alright guys, so we got about one hour left of the chill Minecraft stream tonight. So far, I've gotten... I managed to get the fencing around the village. And the only people that are locked out are this fucking dumbass nitwit. Right? The dumb nitwit is stuck. And the iron golem is patrolling the outside of the village, as you can see. He wants to get in and he can't. But that's okay, I think. I think if you just keep patrolling the outside of the village, it might actually be useful. Okay? Um, so I guess next I need to make torches, right? Which are sticks, but I need to make, do I need to make a furnace? And I don't have a furnace. And I have, I have the bricks. Do you need, or not bricks, the cobblestone? Let's see here. Furnace. Okay. There's the furnace. Uh, how does this work? Use a log to burn another log. Oh, uh, let's see. That should work, right? Yep. Talks like a white girl from Cal tipped me a dollar and says thoughts on food replacement pills. Food pills have the same nutritious value as a full course meal. Um, I don't know anything about it. To me, that doesn't seem like it would work. Reason being, the human body is meant to absorb certain nutrients in certain ways naturally. So I'll give you an example. A lot of people take vitamin supplements. And what they don't realize is that, for example, oh, I took a vitamin C supplement that gives me 700% of the recommended vitamin C for the day. Your body doesn't make use of that. What it does is it takes in a minimal amount and then it says, I don't need the rest of this and expels it through your feces or through your piss. So even though you're taking a million percent vitamin C, you're expelling 95% of what you just put into your body anyway, okay? So if your body is used to absorbing in, uh, nutrients a certain way, what may end up happening is you take, oh, vi these vitamin enrichment pills. You take all the nutrients you need, but your body doesn't absorb them naturally the way it's supposed to, and you end up expelling a ton of it. Now, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe they found a way to make a supplement of, of these, of these uh, you know, minerals, vitamins, whatever you need, that actually does absorb and, you know, actually does... Uh, make it so that it's it, it, it'll absorb naturally into your body the way it's supposed to. If that's the case, that'd be kind of weird because then wouldn't you have like stomach acid and stuff built up every day that's supposed to be digesting food and you're not eating food? You're just taking a pill? Now, what does it do with all that acid and shit, right? I mean, I guess the body would have to evolve somehow to take care of that. I don't know. Um, yeah, I really don't know, okay? Oh, let's see here. Tedjbz, oh my goodness, Tedjbz to be $5 and says, I now sympathize with Thanos trying to extinguish half the universe population. In my opinion, if you want to see how terrible people are, go to your local mall. Overcrowding people pushing each other for a deal. I mean, they've been doing commentary on stuff like that for a long time, man. <laughs> Black Friday, oh my god. I hear you, dude. So thank you for the tip. Hello to me, dollars. Do you like banquet meals? No. Have I tried appearing offline? No. Look here, look, listen, offline diet. Someone really likes Wings of Redemption. Keck tipped me $1.11. Says you should run for European Parliament and change Article 13 before it ruins everything. I warned everyone about Article 13 as much as I could. I really have no control over it at this point. Okay? Yummy Yum Yums tipped me a dollar, complaining, saying that, oh, I did break, I, I, I broke rules, but not enough to warrant targeted hate from your mods. Yummy Yum Yums, I saw exactly what you said. I was going to ban you myself until Ahmad did it first. Fuck off. Big Boy Abides cheered and said, I saw the tweet for a chill stream. My favorites of yours. First thing I hear is your feces and taking a piss. I knew I was in the right place. That's right. We're talking about absorption of minerals and, and uh, nutrients into the body. Phantom Fuzz cheered and said, Hope you're having a good night, Phil. Real talk, my crush teams are the chillest. All right, so let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our tips, I think, went up by about nine bucks. Thank you, guys. Okay. Shit. That's a gross over-exaggeration. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. So, we got the furnace burning coal for us, right? 
Um, because I need to make some torches. Oh fuck! What happened? I made seventeen. Yeah, I need more coal. Oh wait, no, I need more sticks. Oh, I need more sticks. Oh. What is that? A campfire? Is a campfire like tons better than a torch? I'm just gonna make 11 torches now, yeah. All right, I should start, oh God, it's getting becoming nighttime again. I guess I should sleep and then I'll start placing torches around the camp. Why do I mess with the back of my hair like you, like you can see? I don't even know what you're talking about. It's probably just a, a natural twitch like or a thing touching the back of my head or whatever. I don't know. No, the cat said, yow. Okay. Okay. So let's start placing torches around the camp. Now, Mr. Papa Vera, do you have a recommended way that I should go about this. I know you said every 10 blocks, but I mean, what am I going to have 7,000 torches in the camp? You know what I mean? Like, how do I do this? Hello, Ratty Bag. How's it going? Big Boy Bud, serious and morality question. If someone recommends something to you and you find out the person was actually acting in the interest of himself, you still fell for it. Is it your fault for buying into the argument, recommendation, or his fault for tricking? I, that's like a very general question. I, do, I would need more information and a situation, like a specific situation, then I could give you an answer. I can't, that's too general for me to just tell you a definitive feeling on that, okay? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, crap. I got some pretty torches everywhere, but the question is, I mean, he said 10 blocks, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Ah, oh, fuck. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just put one here. We already got one there. Put one here. Put one here. We already got one there. Put one here on the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put one here. Alright, we'll put one up here. Actually, I want to close this off. Do I have enough dirt to do it? I think so. Close off this water. I don't want anyone falling in. I gotta make this this town idiot proof, basically. Completely idiot proof. So they don't fall in and get fucked. There's no way if this were real life, I'd be the idiot to fall in here, too. I'd trip right in, <laughs> bust my ass, and drown. Like a moron. My eye just started burning. If you're wondering why I closed my right eye, it just started burning because I touched it because I'm an idiot. It's allergy season, and I had the audacity to touch my eye like a moron. <clears throat> All right, let's continue. Oh. Poor cow is stuck. Oh, let's see. So, one fan of fuzz. Uh, cheered. He said, I'm sorry, Phil. I don't have any ill will. I just, just want, wishing you a good night. Apologies. Don't ban me. What are you talking about? Fan of Fuzz, I didn't take any offense to what you said at all. I thought it was actually a nice message. Thank you. Um, Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He said, torches are far less expensive than a campfire, but I would welcome a campfire in the village. Just for appearances, you can make it into a bonfire with rocks around it. The place where the torches is approximate. They do need to be fairly close. You can walk in place, setting some rhythm in between clicks. But yes, it would be a spamming of torches. All right. And I received a dollar tip from someone called Unmod King of Golf. Just because of that, I'm going to permanently mod King of Golf and give him complete immunity for the rest of his life. I'm just kidding, by the way. But <laughs> if you really think that tipping me a dollar and asking me to unmod a mod is going to work, you're you're pretty much uh, a dumbass. I don't know what else to say. That's pretty much the best way to describe you. Okay. Alright. 
What was that noise? It sounded like bones. I think there's a cave below us with enemies in it. Because every time I walk over here, I hear I hear monsters. But there's no monsters here. I think it's underneath. Don't worry. I'm bringing torches. Oh, these guys already have torches. Uh, Big Boy Abides is true. So I just got a tornado warning on my phone. There's crazy lightning outside. If I start dying on stream or get thrown out of my building, I'll be sure to cheer and let you all know. <laughs> Yes, be sure to cheer as you're as you're flying through the air like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. Your house is lifted off the ground and you're you're tossed into the sky. Be sure to tell us. <laughs> Don't like try to save your own life and get the fuck out of there. Tell us instead. Much more important that we know everything going on. <laughs> oh my goodness, the age of social media, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Good placement. Actually, it's probably terrible placement. Oh, uh, James the Beastie cheered. I said, Phil, what is going on with the chat? I have no idea. I'm talking to people in the chat. So I only know what's going on with those who I'm talking with. Maybe some other crazy stuff's going on. Yes, Master Sorrow, I agree. I do hope that Big Boy Bite stays safe. With all the joking that we're making tonight, obviously we hope that things are okay for you and you're not affected negatively by the tornado. Oops. Probably that it never reaches you. Okay. So here's where I'm going to put a gate. I'm definitely going to build a gate there as well. Some kind of a nice gate structure. Out of torches, but you know what? I almost I think I almost went around the entire village. I did pretty good because here's where I started, right? All right, where are my uh, blocks? I need to get more coal. Mr. Papa Bear said it is most likely a cave under the ground. The sounds I'm hearing, any openings inside the perimeter cover mobs can find their way out. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I, all the water areas I already covered up except for this one. It's definitely a good idea to patch this shit up, make sure nothing fucking... Nothing comes out and nothing falls in. Oh, shit! Like me! Like fucking me! God damn it! Get the fucking... Get me out of here. It's a perfect example! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Ah! Oh! Stop falling in. Fuck. I don't have enough. Oh, yes, I do. There. Oh, what a mess. There you go, villagers. Look, you can actually fucking walk here, guys. Look at this. They're coming right up, too. They're like, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll save you. I know I'm your savior. Damn straight. Look, they're gossiping. They're doing their daily gossip. This is their, one of the new things that they do. They come and talk with each other and they gossip. There's actually effects in-game stuff, too. Like, based on your actions, they'll gossip about you and give you higher ranking in the town. So, it actually helps you or can hurt you, too. Like, if you, if you end up hurting other people, then you get negative reputation and then they don't like you. So, this look is their daily gossip time. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrocarbon has said, I ever get a new iPhone? No, it's the same one I've had for years and years, man. Same one. Big Boy Bites Shooter said, I think that Minecraft makes for a better chill than, than MLB, but they're both fun. Very much enjoy these. Regarding the tornado, I'm from a state that doesn't have them, so I freaked out during the first warning, but people say it's not likely to come at you. Then he cheered again, so I remember watching your original Minecraft streams. They were super relaxing. I've never played it, though. Is there one set Minecraft universe like GTA, or is it randomized? No, it's completely randomized. Whenever you join one of these worlds, you can either join one that's pre-created by someone else, or you can do a completely randomized one, depending on what you want to do. Um, 
How do I take one? Because I want to make more. Actually, that would be a bad idea because I need to make a bunch of sticks, right? Okay. Now I should burn the rest. Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll let those make charcoal. Alright, now I should make torches. There we go. I just heard a zombie. See? You heard him, but he's not here. It's gotta be an underground cave. There's gotta be an underground cave here. Right? Um... Put more torches out. So anyway, um, <laughs> answering Big Boy Bites' question. Excuse me, that was disgusting. Answering Big Boy Bites' question further. My world is a randomized world. It's a survival world, meaning that you have to try to survive when, mo when monsters and stuff come after you. Which is why I have to do things like build these defenses for the village and the like. Um, but. Oh, God, there's another one. Okay, I gotta definitely fucking box this one in. Um, but... The way it works is, yes, it's randomized, but you can actually share your world with others, so then they can go into your world after the fact that you're done kind of messing with it. You can save, like, a copy of your world and upload it, so other people can, can actually try it out. And some people have actually expressed that before I finally hang up for good my playing of Minecraft, whenever that may be, it's, you know, I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon, but... Whenever I decide, okay, that's enough Minecraft for me um, to upload my world so that other people can have a chance to kind of mess around in it and enjoy it because I put so much time and effort into it. <clears throat> Indeed, Javs to me a dollar says, you had the chance to get rid of gout or post nasal drip permanently. Oh, if I had a chance to get rid of either gout or post nasal drip permanently, which one would it be? 100% post nasal drip. Because let me tell you, having a uric acid imbalance in my body... I can handle it. I've adjusted my lifestyle. And quite frankly, since I did adjust my lifestyle to have less red meat and the like, I'm healthier anyway. Like, it's something I should have done to begin with earlier in my life. Now that I'm getting older and I did it, I feel very good that I did it because I'm feeling better. But the fucking post-nasal drip is the worst, man. When I'm sick, I get sick for extended periods of time because of it. It just makes me feel worse. Allergy, my allergies are far worse because of it. Like, there's just so many negative things because of the post-nasal drip. <clears throat> when you guys hear me snore on stream, that's because of the post-nasal drip. If I didn't have it, I would never, ever have to do that. It's just so nasty, and I hate it, and I've had it my whole goddamn life, and I wish I could get rid of it permanently, but there's no way to do it. Um, Amber Lynn tipped me a dollar and says, I've been a fan for a while. I've been getting into IRL streams on YouTube. Have you had plans for them? Nope. No plans for IRL streams. I'm a gameplay streamer. The bottom line is... Um, that what I do here on stream on Twitch is fun because there's gameplay involved and I get to interact with you guys while I play something. Um, even though every once in a while, like for example, this, this Friday, I'm doing Ask the King, which is my Q&A show that I do bi-monthly. I have zero interest in doing IRL streams or anything like that on a regular basis besides outside of my, my already established podcasts and shows and things that I do, uh, every once in a while. So there's your answer. The answer is No. The Moldy Web took me $2 and said, Please play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. There's no need to play the first. Uh, I don't think I would want to. I didn't like the, the first one enough to finish it. Why would I want to play the second one? You know what I mean? Especially because I've heard it's more of the same. It really is kind of this grindy style RPG. So I don't know if I would actually want to play it. Big Boy Abides Cheer said, This is the same world you first played in? This is the, the world I started playing in in December. I, I started a brand new game of this on Xbox One in December. And I've been playing in the same world ever since. So I've been working on this, growing this world, recreate, you know, re remolding the world to my desires since December. So, you know, five plus months I've been working on it. And I've gotten a lot done. And the thing is, the game has changed since then. Like, the reason that I'm in this village is because this is the new style village. This didn't even exist before. They packed... Oh, shit. They patched the game to have this in it. And that's why now I'm working on it. Um... Alright, do I have enough? I need one more. 
But yeah, I've been working on this world for six months. The world you saw, if you watch my old videos from like 2015, 2016, whenever I, I did Minecraft the first time, no, that was actually the PC version. Completely different version. The world was different. It was a much more outdated world than this one. You know, so that, it was not the same. Mr. Rob Avera Charity said, in the background, there's villagers tossing food at each other. That's a part of their routine when not working together and share food. They try to get each other in the love mode. When enough food is shared, if the population is lower than the number of beds, you can expand the village with more beds and making more job site blocks. I can share some designs for homes to make in the villages. Yeah, I mean, not tonight, but that is something. Now that I have a village that seems it's, like, protected, that's actually something I would like to eventually do is you know, set this up as robust as I can make it. I want to do commerce. I want to have the villagers breed. You know, all the things that people say the villagers are cool for, I want to do. Now I actually have the opportunity to do it. Like, this is going to give me, no lie, like, like a ton of new content to do in this game. It really is. Now that I have this set up like this, this is going to give me so much more to do. And that's cool. And then eventually, maybe I could have a way to have villagers come from here to my home base and back, right? Maybe I could. That would be pretty cool. Talking like a white girl from Cal tipped me a dollar and said, this is a research. They're saying that you are a former lead singer from the band Papa Roach. Is this true? Yeah, how did you know? I tried to keep that a secret all these years and no one ever figured it out until now. How the hell did you finally figure this out? Now I'm embarrassed that you figured that out because I didn't want anyone to know that. Anyway, I need more dirt. I'm going to fill in these water holes too, so I need more dirt. Actually, it looks like one farmer farms back here, right? So you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't fill these in because there's someone's farming here. I'd probably fuck up their job. Uh, Mod Wars just hit me. Um, Five dollars said, Saru and Yusuke are saying that Golf and Madara need to dial back insta bands and use timeouts and warnings so they don't drive everyone away with their power trips. Thoughts? Listen. Why are you involved in this to begin with? How is this any of your business? I'm not. I'm doing an entertaining stream. I don't fucking care about this right now. So all you're doing by doing this is derailing the goddamn stream. Right? <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to assume $10 more in tips. I wasn't really adding it up. But let's say it was $10 more in tips. So thank you, everybody. <clears throat> Fan of Plus Cheer, said, thank you, Phil. I apologize again. Great streams. Glad to be here. Sorry, Mods. Yeah, everything's fine, dude. Everything is fine, Fan of Fuzz. Uh, okay. Continuing on. Making sure I have enough torches everywhere. Next, I'm going to build gates uh, to get in and out. And then I got to build big ass, like, Archie. Yeah! What the fuck? What in the fuck was this? This is terrible. We can't have it like this. We gotta fucking close this off. Shit, man. I don't need a cake. I gotta fucking close this. Yeah, I know. Look at this mess. Who are, who are you, by the way? You are a cleric. Interesting. I need to I need to close that shit off, man. Fuck. Okay. To my knowledge, there's their mods are not fighting, and everyone needs to just fucking relax and mind their own business, quite frankly. Like it's no one's real bi Oh my god, there's another one? Dude, this is terrible. I gotta close all this shit off, like, right now before like, they start falling in and dying. Because that's exactly what happened at the other fucking town that I was in. Oh my god, why are there so many holes? Oh. sucks but anyway it's no one's business what the hell the mods are doing if the mods are having disagreements that's okay that's always going to naturally happen and 
People should stop trying to make fucking drama out of me because I'll tell you right now that shit's not gonna last. If I find people trying to stir shit up with the, because of, you know, stuff going on with mods, you're not gonna be here much longer. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not letting anyone make drama out of shit. Fuck no. There we go. Okay, I blocked that one up. Where the hell? There's so many big holes I gotta fill up here. here oh my god. Who the fuck did this? This is the problem with random generation. You can get some really random shit happen like this. Where now we've got all these holes I gotta fill up. So I gotta dig up all this dirt. To fill up the other holes. So, uh, let's see here. No, excuse me. Big Boy Bai Shi said, I had a philosophy professor tell me you, can ha you have talent. Which I literally said. That's like telling me I'm the best at being... The gayest nerd in school. He didn't find it funny. Sad. I don't know what that. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Papa Vera cheered. He said you can close it off on the top or block it at the opening with with the open block it at the opening with fence blocks and use torches on the outside, or you can build bridges over those openings and place fences around the edges. Oh my God! Look at this. It's so big. Eternal Napalm just cheered. He said, I just got back to PA after spending the entire holiday weekend in San Diego. On the flight back, there was a whiny baby in front of me crying the entire flight. Did you come across that at all? I told you, Eternal Napalm, didn't you listen back to my um, my podcast about my trip to Connecticut? That's exactly, exactly what we just went through uh, in regards to our flight back from Connecticut. We had a crying baby the entire fucking flight and gave us you know, a headache when we were trying to relax. It was not a good time. Oh, fuck. See what happened? Get out of here. You're going to get stuck, man. Get the fuck out. No! Get out of the fucking shit. This is terrible. All the villagers are going to fucking come down here and get killed. I got to block this shit off, man. I don't have, an, I don't have any fencing. I was going to say I'll use fencing. I don't have fencing to do it. I have to block it off with blocks. Uh. Madara is God. Don't worry. I don't. I don't feel like you guys have done anything wrong. I seriously don't. I just think it's this. It's basically what's happening. You have certain people in the stream chat who realize that if they say dumb shit, that they can incite people's, you know, attention. I got this guy out at least, right? At least I got him the fuck out of there. Um, and so what they're basically trying to do is get people riled up and think, oh, there's something wrong with mods and stuff. When the reality there's not at all, it's just them trying to, to cause shit, cause drama. Just another day where these idiots are trying to cause more drama in my stream where it doesn't exist. Because they're bored with their own fucking lives. And they want to try to make mine miserable. It ain't gonna work. So don't worry. Just relax. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Alright, I need more dirt. The creep cheered. He said, "I've been saving my bits for a long time, watching as I give you fifty cents." Well, thank you, the creep, for the fifty bits, not cents. They are fifty bits. They are not actual currency. But thank you very much for the cheer. I appreciate that. Vacuum repairman tipped me a dollar. He says, "Oh, your mods are out of control. The only one that's saying is Master Saru." The reason you say that is because Master Saru unbans people. That's the only reason you say that. He unbans more people than he ban than he bans. Because he's, he's basically a nicer a nicer guy who comes back and when there's a mess in the stream chat that the other mods have to try to take care of, he tries to clean it up later if there was any kind of erroneous banning or overzealous banning that happened. But you're only saying that because you basically want to open chat where there's no moderation at all and that's never going to happen because then you assholes would come in here, free reign, spamming all kinds of racist shit, get me in trouble, get me banned from fucking Twitch, it ain't going to happen. So, fuck you. Okay then. Okay. The truth of the matter is, when you have a, a, a Twitch channel, you basically need to have a variety of people. 
You do. You absolutely need a variety of people uh, to make sure that the channels were... If you just had one kind of mod or one kind of person in charge, then you run the risk of it going too much one way or the other. I like having a variety of people who work on the channel and do uh, and do all kinds of, of, of different roles in the chat. You know? It works. It honestly works this way. And it works nicely, in my opinion. Did he, go, did he leave? I'm trying to get him out of here. Good. Get the fuck out so I can close this up, you dumbass. Oh, God. Oh, no. I opened up a whole new area. I've almost got this closed. Someone's drinking. SB10K hype tipped me a dollar and said, You missed my previous tip a few minutes ago. My second tip, let me ask you if you've ever seen anything paranormal. I knew someone who could have seen UFOs a little later they committed suicide. No, to my knowledge, I never seen anything fucking weird like that. I don't believe in ghosts and ghoulies and shit like that. Um, or Bigfoot or any of that stuff. I mean, oh shit, I did it again. Maybe there is something supernatural out there. I'm certainly not going to 100% write the possibility off. But I've never experienced any of it myself. So. I'm trying to hurry and close this up before the asshole goes down there again. Because I'm not going to be able to get him out. Tell me he didn't go down there, please. Tell me he did not fucking... I don't care. Fuck him. He's done. Ah, 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 ah. If he's down there, he's dead. He's trapped in there now, man. Alright, so that's one there. Now I gotta do this one, right? Or did I already close this one? I already closed that one off? No, I didn't close this one. This one I need to still close. Oh, Will took me the dollars. What happened to the money that Emerald 7 had donated? It went to bills. It went to the fact that I had lost a bunch of money around Christmas time because I wasn't working. And typically, I rely on an increase in holiday money. And I didn't get it this year. So, basically, made up for that. It paid my state taxes for the year. My state income taxes, I had to pay. And that's what that would paid for that. Basically, it paid for a ton of stuff. You know, that's normal stuff. That it's operating cost of me, me doing business. And, and you know, did I, did I account for every single fucking dollar? And say, this is a dollar from Emerald 7, and this is what it went to. No. But it got spent on stuff that's business related. <laughs> no mystery here. Oh, let's see. Centros has subscribed for 12 months. Thank you, Centros, for the sub. Mr. Bob Veracheri said, that villager had a death wish. I think he did. Mr. Bob Veracheri said, meanwhile, Bigfoot is watching the stream now and sad because you don't think he's real. <laughs> I need one more. Okay. What's this? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding. Oh my god, there's so many holes. I just gotta grab a bunch of dirt from here. This is getting out of control. There's so many holes in the town, man. Oh, what crap treaty said I'm thinking about opening a slow jam quiche restaurant. And a nightclub called Quiche Sweat. You and your partner make a quiche and you dance to slow jams while it's in the oven. At the end of that, you go home together with a quiche. Uh. Uh. Great idea. Embrace your dreams. Let no one tell you that's a bad idea. If that's what you think is a good idea, you go for it, man. There we go. There. What the fuck? I'm gonna walk away now. Oh, not Konami. Tip me two dollars. Says, do you think Death Stranding will be the most overhyped, overrated game of the decade? Um, yes and no. 
You know it's going to have a ton of hype no matter what. However. 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 The game might be good. <laughs> so maybe love should be worthy of the hype. You know, we won't. We, in all honesty, we won't. We don't know. So, I'm certainly not going to talk shit about the game that's not out. And we don't really even know much about it. You know what I mean? So, all right. Did I close up all the holes? By the way, this person still wants me to address some tip they did 15 minutes ago. Oh my god. Let's see. Oh, here we go. SB10K hype. Did a dollar tip. It says you can upload your current world to the public servers tonight. No need to wait for months down the line. If someone guides you how to do it, would you do it? Please do a multiplayer session of Minecraft with the fans. Also, please mod cause. Just because of that, I now know that I don't take anything you say seriously. However, um, no, I can't do a multiplayer with this world. This world, when I did it, apparently I set it up as a single player only world. I didn't know what I was doing. So there's no way that I could do multiplayer with this, this world that I've created. I could, I guess, do a new world multiplayer but it would not be able to be this one um <clears throat> what i need to do is a town walkthrough and make sure that there's no other holes oh no no that's okay that's just a little bit of water and yeah this is the farmer guy that's his farming area i don't want to fuck up his farming area yeah i want to make sure there's no other giant gaping holes that people can wander into and die this one i mean this one needs a patchwork right this one definitely needs to be patched up, but at least it doesn't go into a cave. If they fall in there, they can at least get out of it. Right? So I'll fix that eventually, but just not now. What's this? Nothing. Okay, good. What about this one? Yeah, it looks like this one I did close up. Although it's still messy. I definitely want... Oh, God. No way. I didn't, I didn't finish. Look. Now I did. Now I've bricked it in. All right, I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep walking around to make sure there's no holes that I missed that they can fall in and get hurt or get lost or you know. I want all my villagers to stay alive. Not like last time. <laughs> keep walking around and looking. All right, so anyway, SB10K hype with that dollar tip. They said, you never addressed my first tip. Uh, you need to get, to get the Elytra to make the Minecraft traversing much easier. I have no idea what the Elytra is. Never heard of it. What's the Elo? Come on, no. There's another one. And I hear a zombie. Come on, man. This shit is out of control at this point. Why are there so many holes in the goddamn town? They're all going to sleep now, which they should. I can't believe this is fucked up. Mr. Bob Avera Tree said you can use the character of the town, like with all the holes, to come up with a name. <laughs> pothole point. <laughs> the whole town's a fucking pothole. All right, did I, I, I close it up? There. Yeah, that's what it is. There's zombies down there under in that cave underneath. And that's what the fucking noises we keep hearing. You cannot rest. There are monsters nearby. So there's monsters underneath me, and they won't let me sleep because of it. Uh, a sexy leopard tipped me a dollar saying, Free my friend Daki Smurf. Uh, I agree with having different styles of mods, but experience of modding other chats banning frequently might drive people away. Well, why did Decky Smurf get banned? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what happened. I can't see because it's not scrolling up.
All right, I don't. I honestly don't even know what happened. It seems like there was interaction with the mods, and I can't even figure out what happened. I'm trying to. I'm reading the logs, and it's it's not. It's not. It doesn't make sense. Like just by reading the logs, you can't tell what the back and forth was with the mods. So I unbanned Daki Smurf, but please don't get into any more arguments with the mods, okay? Please. Can I please have a nice fun session here tonight? Did he get stuck? They did get. They got stuck. Look. They fell in. Now they can move again. They had fallen into the corner and couldn't move. Yeah, there goes the cat. Ah! See, this is what's going to happen as I work with this town. I'm going to have to mess with the stuff that I've built in it to make sure that it's basically dummy-proof. Because those people were dummies. And that, the, the animals and that dude got stuck in the corner. But now I fixed it, you see? So i got to keep checking for stuff like that. <laughs> okay. All right. What, dude, are you kidding me? Look. Look at the horse. It's still jumping in place. Why? What the fuck is going on? Stop jumping. What is going- anyone know what the fuck's happening here? Did I stop it? It's like they're all going for the corner. See? For some reason they're all going for the corner. I don't know why. It's fucking them up. Uh. Weird. I think I fixed it, though. I think I fixed it by mount mounting the horse for a bit. I think I unglitched it. Alright, there we go. I fixed the glitch. <clears throat> Alright, Kendall tipped me a dollar. I said, lean in band. I thought it was DSP ASMR. <laughs> you thought it was DSP... No, I was, I was reading chat logs. That's what I was doing. Alright. I have to keep looking now around town and make sure there's no more holes. I think I think I filled them in. Mm. I hope. Because they're all filled in, then I can continue placing torches. Mm. And then more than likely, the next thing I'll do is build a, a fences or gates to get in and out. And then I'll build giant arches around and, and watchtowers as well. So you can climb up the towers and look around from the town. And then I'll work on figuring out the commerce side of things with the villagers. Because as of now, I think they're safe. At least from a, 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 you know, initial perspective. What I do need to do is make the fence taller. It's very short right now. But as a basic fence, I think it's going to serve its purpose. So. Mr. Papa Bear Cherry said, Pothole Point. I like it. But an Elytra is something much, much later in the game. It'll be something I did cover briefly on how it's used. It's basically a flying apparatus. You don't really fly. You glide. There's items you can carry to boost your glide and sail as high as you want. You travel thousands of blocks very fast. Holy crap. An Elytra, huh? All right, I think I'm going to start placing torches again. How is my day going, asked Alice? I mean, the day's been pretty good. I finished up Team Sonic Racing earlier today, and quite frankly, the game was very disappointing. I think it could have been a much better game. The online play was very bad. So that's what, that was very sad. Um, you know, Minecraft tonight, I actually got good progress. I'm pleased here. That I've actually made progress tonight with this town, and the town seems to be intact and not falling apart at the fucking seams like the other ones that I found. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no! You've gotta be joking me. I found another one! Shit.
Someone's chugging. All right, I think we're good here. I filled it in. <sighs> Pothole Point. The name of the town is Pothole Point. Later, I'll make a freaking sign for it. Dream use gate cheaters, and I'm sorry for this commotion with this mods. I'm trying to chill this shit. I've gotten so many whispers for unbans, it's ridiculous. And mods, let not chat know about us having disagreement and take it up in mod chat. Right, I mean, we have a moderator's chat room. That's where all this stuff should be disagree uh, should be, be talked about, any disagreements. It shouldn't be hashed out in the public forum where people are watching and like, what's going on, you know. I agree there. If the mods are disagree disagreeing with each other or whatever, they should be talking in the moderator chat about it. It should not be out in the public chat because that derailed that honestly also derails the stream here i am trying to put on an entertaining stream and i gotta try to figure out what the fuck's going on with moderators and stuff that shouldn't be my business at all you know what i mean <clears throat> okay all right So, a final walkthrough check, and as long as I don't see any holes, which I can't believe I found another one, then I'll start putting down torches, and more than likely, that's where we're going to end tonight, because I really don't have time for anything else right now. Um, you hear all the monsters underneath us right now. What's up, uh, Jonathan Rojas? What's up, man? Good to see you. He said, I haven't been around for a while. Uh, looking forward to the retrospective event, but later, congrats to you and Kat. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I haven't seen you for a while. I know it's been a while, so... Yeah, the retrospective should be fun this Saturday. Be sure to recommend what you want to see over on the forums, if you at all can. I thought that lamb was going to go right inside the building. I thought it was going to open the door with his face and go right inside. Looks like we got a good variety of guys. There's a bunch of farmers, right? I know that one was the cleric. Look, they are like, just like Saru had, or uh, Saru, just like Mr. Papa Vera had said. Take a look; they're all tossing carrots and shit at each other. Look, I have a carrot. I'll fuck you. I have this fucking carrot. I don't want this fucking disgusting carrot. You take that shit. No, I told you I don't like carrots. Take that shit back. Final laugh. Timmy five dollars said, "Loving the chill stream while I relax tonight. Keep up the good work. I never was into Minecraft, but it's relaxing to watch." What's on the list to play for the rest of the week? Got Team Sonic Racing 2 and enjoying the play. Tomorrow, a Plague Tale premieres. All right, tomorrow. Tomorrow night will be my weekly Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royal stream. Then, Wednesday, it'll be more a Plague Tale on the main stream. And then Wednesday night's going to be more Phoenix Wright Tri Trials Tribulations because I need to start playing that game more, probably around twice a week now on nights because I realized, damn... I'm playing it like two hours a week, and people were like, dude, you still literally have like 20 to 30 hours left in the game. And I was like, that would mean I'd be playing this game for the next, if you figure to do the math, 10 to 15 weeks. Um, four months to finish it, I don't think it's going to work. It's a nitwit. He's just standing there staring at me. So I need to start playing it more often. I'm going to try to play it two times a week moving forward. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Talk like a white girl from Cal to me another dollar. And said, last question. Will it be worth buying the next generation of consoles or investing in one powerful next generation PC? Next generation consoles are rumored to cost nearly a grand when it comes out. That would never happen. Tell you right now, it would never happen. Because then you just, you'd get... This This horse just wants to jump in place. I can't help it. That would never happen. Then what would happen is you would isolate an entire audience um, who would not buy them because they can't afford a $1,000 machine. So... I would say, as typically, they'll probably cost around five hundred dollars, give or take, at launch, and then we'll see what happens. You know, maybe they'll sell a higher end that is a thousand, and then they'll sell a lower end that's cheaper. You know, but no, I certainly do not believe that they would be a thousand, only a thousand dollars to get the next gen of console. As for is it worth it to get it? I mean, for as a content creator like me, yes. As a normal person, I have no idea. It depends to, I guess, how, how much you game, how much free time you have to game, how much disposable income you have. There's a million questions that would need to be asked and answered before you can answer a question like that. There's no definitive, oh, yeah, definitely, or, oh, no, it's not worth it. 
it all depends on your own situation. So. <clears throat> all right. Well, I think we're almost done for the night, guys. I think we had a pretty productive night here in Minecraft. I want to say thanks to everyone who did contribute tonight because a lot of people did. Um, you know, the top cheerer tonight was Dankus Day. Top cheerer, or excuse me, the top tipper was Nihilistic Goldfish. But we had a lot of people who contributed. In fact, I'm curious what the total tips are because I lost track and I stopped updating it. But I lost track. I know we had a good amount of tips tonight, which is good because, <clears throat> reminder, I'm dumping about $50 tonight to get a Plague Tale. So, hopefully the game's good. You know, a lot of people have been talking about this game the last two weeks, saying it's one of the better indie games released in the last several years, and to not play it is actually, like, a lo you're actually losing out if you don't. So, I'm, I'll be happy to start playing it tomorrow and see what the fuck? And see what it's all about. Uh, oh, my God. Excuse me. <clears throat> Mr. Bob Vera says, if they have a badge on their belt, they have some kind of profession... The badges come in iron, bronze, gold, diamond, and emerald. Oh, yeah? Let's find villagers and see what their badges say. This guy has... That's bronze, I believe. A bronze medallion or medal. <clears throat> what about this guy? Also looks like bronze. Who is he, by the way? He is a stone mason. <clears throat> I wish I knew how to fix this horse glitch. I don't know why it's doing that. That's really obnoxious, but I don't think there's anything I can do to fix it, right? Okay. Alright, guys. So, here's the deal. Very productive night. What did I get done? Well, I got the perimeter fence out around the town... I filled up all the holes in the town where there was potential danger for the villagers to fall in. And I also put torches throughout the town. Now, I think I should probably going to need more eventually. But I think for an initial night of work, this was a good starting point. So, what I'll probably do next <clears throat> is focus more on... I'll put fences or uh, gates on the ends of the town so you can go in and out and properly uh, gather resources. Because I'm probably going to need more wood to do a two-tier fence around this town. Because I need to make it higher so that way things can't sh accidentally slide over, okay? Then I'm probably going to build watchtowers and gates, alright? Then when that's all done, then I'll consider maybe starting the commerce up with the villagers that they're totally safe and see exactly, you know, what we can do, what they have, and, and go from there. Maybe it means I'll have to make a trip back to my, my home area. As you can see, we're far northwest on the map. My home area is just slightly to the center of this map or excuse me slightly to the west of the center of this map so you know maybe i take a trip back grab the resources that they need to trade and come back and start doing trade with them so that they'll level up because i want to level them up for sure um but i definitely think that's a smart thing to do i don't want to i just did all this work i don't want to leave and then be like you know i want to get stuff out of it so the next couple of times i play minecraft i think i'm going to focus on this town trying to make it better trying to get commerce going and everything, you know, initial busy work. I told you tonight was going to be busy work. I knew it. That tonight was going to be all busy work, and I mean not really focusing on anything productive in the game. It was just building the shit around the town to make it safe. So next time I can do a little bit more of that, make it look a little bit more fancy with like a big tower or gate or something, and then maybe go work on <clears throat> the actual commerce part. Thank you to Jonathan Rojas, who just tipped me $5. He says, here you go, buddy. By the way, did you get a chance to see AEW? I didn't want to spend 60 bucks for it. No, I like I know what happened to AEW because it was all over social media and some of the twists and turns and things they they spoiled and posted up on social media. I didn't see it. I'm in the same boat as you. Number one, I I don't have sixty dollars to spend on it. Number two, I was I was busy at the time when it was broadcasting. Anyway, I was streaming. So and this is my problem is AEW. I'm excited to watch it, but if they have a TV a TV deal with TNT, I don't have a TV service. What I have is Hulu and Netflix. So unless Unless they have a deal where their show is going to be on Hulu like WWE is every week, I really have no means to watch it unless there will be an online archive somewhere where you can watch it. Because if that's the case, then I can just watch it on, on my TV like through the browser. I have a Firefox browser and I can watch it that way. But 
unless that's the case, I don't think there's any way realistically that I can watch their shows on TNT or, and I'm not, I can't pay for their pay-per-views. So it's kind of like the old model that WWE used to be. Now WWE, if you get Hulu and the WWE network, you can watch a hundred percent of WWE content for like, no lie, like $15 a month. Um, <clears throat> and that's what I do. So for me, sadly, AEW doesn't seem like it's something that's accessible right now until they become more, more like how WWE is digitally accessible. I don't think that I'm going to be able to watch their stuff, which sucks. Um, Will to me a dollar. said, great chill stream tonight. I want to let you know I've always looked at you as a father figure. Well, thank you for that, Will. That's incredibly disturbing. I don't think anyone should ever be thinking of me act like that because I never wanted to be a dad to begin with. I don't, I don't know if I would make a good one. Um, and I'm certainly not, you know, a product. I don't feel that like I am conducting myself 100% in a way to be a role model. I never thought of myself as a role model to the internet. <clears throat> Although now these days I certainly try to make myself more mature in the things that I say and do on streams. You don't hear me saying the ridiculous stuff I used to do years and years ago. And I try to be more mature. Like I said, chill stream. This is so different than the content I used to put out, right? But, but understand, this is not me trying to say, oh, this is how you should behave or whatever on, on Twitch or Twitter or anywhere. Um, you know, you got to figure stuff out for yourself. So I, I, I appreciate you saying that. But at the same time, don't take stuff too seriously, all right? All right, fair enough. All right, that was a good session, everyone. I guess we'll, we'll say, signing off for Minecraft this week with the jumping horse that cannot stop jumping in place. Thanks, everyone, for a good chill stream. Thanks for all your contributions tonight. It was pretty cool. All right?